Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we're playing The Court of Miracles. We are doing a two-player game of this game which was originally released by Lumberjack Games and now it's published in English by Lucky Duck Games. It plays from two to five players in about 40 minutes. It does! So this was a game that we actually saw in Essen last year. It is. Uh, sad face no Essen. Hashtag sad face no Essen. Uh, we... Oh, Essen is there. Just feel like the city isn't gone. But we saw this. Uh, but they were like, oh, it's only going to be released in French because they had, didn't have any English version planned for it. So it's like, okay, we're probably not going to take a copy because we're not French. And, and because most people then wouldn't be able to get it. But no! Look at the games, have made an English version of the game, and we thought it looks interesting, it looks kind of different. So let's take a look at what you do in the Court of Miracles, where you are robbers and pipers and, and, and rogues in the 16th century in Paris. And you are trying basically to become the new penniless king, the king of thieves, the king of the beggars, and trying to do that by taking over the city and being awesome, because everything is awesome. So in this game, you have this really cool board, which kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon. Um, still looks cool. I really like the board, but it, let's talk more about that in the review part. And by the way, if you do not want to see us play the game, just skip to the end where there is says, it says review in the chapters, and you will be able to just hear what we say. But watching it makes more sense because um, it will tell you how the game feels more than us just saying, I like this because of that. So in Dakota Miracles, you are placing these rogue tokens. So basically it's a worker placement game. You have here three worker placement spaces in each of these five different areas. And when you place a token, you will be able to do the action on it and also the action of that area. And then basically when this is filled up, so let's say I have put these two here and you're ending up filling that. So if after you do an action, one of these are filled up, we're gonna flip them over because they have a value on the back. So here we can see that Cinemas has a value of one, I have a value of one and a value of zero. So my, my, my combined value is one and yours is one, so that's a tie. But since I am furthest towards this little plus sign, then I will be the winner of that area and I will take control of the area by placing my renowned token over here. And the goal of the game is to get rid of all your renowned tokens. So basically, if you win here later, you will just remove this and put it back. And there is also a place over here where you can put permanent renown tokens when, when, when somebody, nobody can actually uh, change it or take it from you. And that is basically what you're going to do in the game. You're going to place a, a action. Oh, you are going to place an action and do the action and do the bonus action. And then you're going to see if there is going to be a standoff like we just explained. And you also may play one of these special power cards, one each time it's your turn. And that is basically everything that we will explain. I'm going to go through like these actions when we do them, but it's pretty straightforward. So let's go play the Court of Miracles. Okay, so we are going to see who's going to be the first player here. I'm just going to use these two renowned tokens if I can. I'm going to shuffle them up in my hand. You see this. I don't know why I'm saying it. And the star player is going to be Zunua. Uh, okay. So you are getting a coin. And yep. I'm going to start with two coins. Yes. We start with one card in hat. And then we might have up to four cards in our hands. I'm just going to look on my card, see what it is. And we're going to explain them when they... Okay, cool. Okay. So you start. So what I want to do... Oh, uh, I have to look at the bottom of these things to see what which value is, I actually place. Yeah, so we have two ones and a zero. And a zero is like if somebody else wins, they have to give you a coin. Hmm. Okay, so I think I want some more cards okay cool so i'm you're... going over there and i'm taking two cards one from the one that i mm -hmm. put over here and one neighborhood action do you want to play a card um, do, do, do. no i don't okay. want to do that so i think i'm gonna go get some monies 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 i already forgot what it's where i'm gonna place over here that gives me one two three coins yep so i already have five i am i'm really i'm really rich now <laughs> And then I want to do something else, I think. At least we haven't played a two-player game, but you can see now, like, because we only have three workers. Yes. So if we end, like, it's going to be more times where we place them all on the board and we have to start moving them. 
because or you can place it over here and we will be able to do a standoff hmm. Hmm. so i think i will go over here and okay. take two coins so you get two coins no, i do i want to do that because here i can get two coins and a card, and a card. huh i think i will do that okay two coins and a card so now, now I'm, I'm at the maximum of maximum of cards maximum of cards so do you want to spend a card no not okay. yet my turn I am going to place a dude over there, which yep. gives me a coin, and then basically I can place oh, I one of my, to... no. my renowned tokens yep. out here. I'm going to place it over here, Nice. because it cost me six coins. That's all the money I have. It's going to cost me six coins, and I'm going to be able to take this, which is a power two token, which is pretty good, and I have one more worker now. Nice. In, and four is the maximum. You will be able to get more advanced workers, but you will have to trade them off with somebody you already own. Somebody that you used to know. Okay, so I think actually I am going to play a, a card. card. Oh, this I'm card going cool. to trigger a standoff in the neighborhood with at least two rogue tokens belonging to different players. Okay. So I'm going to trigger this area. It's the only option, yeah. And then we flip them over and see. Yeah. So this just gets discarded. Yes. I'm just going to place it over here. So I have a zero. Yeah. And you have a one. So I get a coin from you, and then you take over this area, and we get this back. And you haven't placed your dude right? No, no. so I'm doing that now. Uh, so then, actually, I want to go over here. Mm -hmm. Don't I want to do that? Which one do I want to? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, over here, and uh -huh. I'm taking four coins. Because now I'm controlling this neighborhood, mm -hmm. so then I get a coin for somebody, including me, going to one of these yes. places. Then I get one and two more, so four in total. And I'm done. Okay, that's a very good action. I, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I want to do anything at all? Maybe I want to get some cards, because the cards are good. I like cards. I am going to go, and I'm going to do... I'm going to go, I think... Well, I'm gonna go over go. here. And that's yeah. gonna move uh, the penniless king, and it's basically a timer. If he somehow reaches this space, the game's gonna end. If that happens before one of us has uh, gotten rid of all of the renowned uh, uh, discs, and also when he gets to some one of these places, it's gonna trigger a standoff in the area he's pointing to, and these uh, silver ones, uh, the player who moves him there, is gonna choose a place for the standoff. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, cool. Your turn. Oh no, and maybe I'm, I'm just gonna play that card. I'm gonna play it, it's uh, death. Oh. Which means I can take a card from this card pile. I thought it sounded like a good card. Oh, nice. So I can play that. I cannot then play that at once because it is only one card each turn. Okay, so it's me. I want to, actually I want to, hmm, I wanna do that. Oh. I'm going to go over here uh -huh. as well. And I'm going to move the king per person. The king person. Over here. Oh and no, um, is it you, the king person? Spending all of my money. The six coins as well? To do the same as you. Yes. I want the two value because that is pretty it is nice. It's usually pretty good to have an yeah. extra dude. I am then going to place my dude over here. Oh no, oh. I don't have any money. I don't have to. I can go there without having the money right because I don't have to do that the neighborhood action. Yes, this is optional, but this is mandatory. Yeah, I'm pretty so I'm, sure. I'm gonna go here and do that. And I'm not gonna pay for that. So we're gonna flip them. You have one. Yep. And I have two. What? So I Yeah, I saw get... that comment. Yeah, I thought it was worth it to just get that area and get the, the, those back. That is nice. So I am going to what I wanna do. I will go over here, mm -hmm. I think, taking it's two points. points. And I'm trying to move this over here. Okay, cool. No, this is... Ah, yeah, let's just do it. And then we're going to reverse all this. You have a one and a zero, and I have a two. <laughs> so you get my one coin. And that I was not good. <laughs> to take over this area. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's you. It is. So like I'm already halfway done and we play like 10 minutes. So it's, it's a very short game. It can be like more back and forth. Like it's going to be interesting. Like this is the first time I play with two. So uh, 
uh, it, it seems tighter with more players so far uh, because there's more stuff you can do obviously okay so I am gonna but I need some money and you are at oh I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it anyways because I need I need that money uh, I need that money okay I'm gonna go here and grab three and you're gonna get one okay yes perfect and it's me right it is so I'm going to go over here this is going to move no I'm, I'm sorry I'm putting it over here I want uh -huh. a coin instead and I'm putting you over there yeah. so I'm guessing you have uh, three yes and I have one yeah nice so you get to take over that that's yours as well and you don't want to spend any cards um no I don't okay so my turn then I think I might want to go and grab a new dude I'm gonna go here oh that's yes. good as well because then I'm gonna put him over here and oh, that is really that. good yeah. that sounds really good and I'm gonna draw one of these from the bag so a magical roll from the bag that is very good I'm gonna do that and pull it through I'm gonna watch it okay so these are like the, the same as this with a value and sometimes a special ability that you can change for one that you have before so i'm guessing you change up your two now <laughs> and there's a very neat um what do you call it i have no idea i have no idea what this means it's a very like neat chart chart of the different abilities on the back of the rules uh, it has to be uh, in, yeah. in the rules or else o overview just, is the guess. word that i was looking okay. for okay <laughs> it's a very neat cat <laughs> in in the rule book <laughs> because it's okay. you yeah and then this one oh that is a I very cheap uh, very cheap Boom, area I only need two more oh hmm okay so i need to uh, do something my game stop yes me. So I want to go over here. Now I get a coin. And then I'm spending four uh -huh. to take a card. Yes. And then I also put one of these permanent over here as well. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. You done? Yep. Oh, we're we're doing it the oh, yeah. opposite way. That's true. Okay. You, you, you do like the logical thing. I'm just taking it from somewhere. I am gonna do an action now. Like I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this now because you're gonna do that and that's gonna be better for you. It's a lot of interaction in this game with uh, especially with a lot of players. Mm -hmm. The situation changes up and there's a lot of standoffs agree, like yeah, all yeah. the time. So, so there's I, a lot, I don't know, I'm calmer gonna do game with more this and I'm gonna move this over here. Mm, I'm not happy about that. That was good though. So Oh no wait. I'm not gonna place that. I'm gonna place this. Hmm. What do you have there? I have something I here. wonder. Hmm. What do I have here? Okay, so I will try to do this. Uh -huh. This is probably not good at all. I think it is. Okay. Uh, a two, and a two, and a one. Yep. So you just. Oh, continue. I get a coin as well. Oh yeah. Yep. You just continue owning it. Did I get the coin from you? I do not think so. No. Haha. <laughs> I don't now? think so too. Yes. So my. I was just like, oh, this is mine, but it's not. It's in the same. It's dead. Yeah, my plan didn't work out. I had a plan. I actually had a plan and it didn't work out. I'm so happy about that. I'm not because that means that I will not win. Uh, okay, so I am thinking of doing something good. That would be bad for me. So I, I suggest you don't. So I am going to I'm going to do that. Hmm. I cannot move anything. So your turn. Yep. I'm not happy about that at all <laughs> because this is very close to triggering this place. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Hmm. That is not good. Oh wait, so... wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna let's see. Oh no, because because of that. Yeah, it's a problem. Anyways. Hmm. So I am actually going Can't play a to. Card. Yes. There's a mystery. No, I don't know. 
I think I'm going to move it away so okay. you don't get to be there. Yeah. Ha ha. Yeah, you can go over here. Cool. No, uh, I want you to go here. Yes. And then it's your turn to do your actual action. Yes. So it's a lot of back I and forth. You have to, to see like, oh, I have to try to, to, to do some... A lot of these kind of mischiefs, a lot of things oh. that happen throughout the game to try to do some tricks, tricks basically. It's very tactical. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go over here so uh -huh. you get a coin. Oh. And that also moves this so it doesn't yep. happen. So that was nice for me. And sad for me. Sad face. So I'm going to spend five coins. Uh -huh. To then move it an additional two, that was. You cannot, you cannot move it anymore because it's stuck here now. Oh the, yeah, that, okay, round. that is. I'm happy about that. No, I'm not. I want to save up, maybe. Huh? Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I actually then want to not do that. Okay. I want to. So it's here. Yep. <laughs> Actions. <laughs> sorry. No, that's fine. Okay, I want to go over here instead. Okay, what happens there? A coin. Yes. So I go to coin and you get a coin. And you pay how many? Then I could pay seven and to get, get two. two more cards. But then it's very close for that to score again. And it's very easy for you to trigger. So actually I'm going to spend five. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that sounds like a small idea. Yeah. Or else I would have won, basically. Yeah. My turn. So yeah. That happens, nobody's there, and now I... You I'm, wouldn't have won, would you? I, I because would have, you have yeah. two... No, but I would have won on my turn. Really? Yeah. It would have been super easy. Because I would have gotten this. And? And nothing more. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I was curious about that. I'm just, I'm just mixing up Bragging? my plans. No, I'm just mixing up my plans. No, you only have one. Yes. And it's super easy for you to get that, basically. I have all the most expensive left though, so I have to get control over something so That means here. I have to do this, or maybe I can do just... No, I have to do this basically. Or else it's going to be very easy for you to just yeah. do something very good. So I have three, and you have two, and I get a card. Nice. Oh! Oh! So do I want to play a Did card? Did you exclaim for my yes. me dropping? Did, or yeah. was no. it that it awesome, like, the card? Wow, I could have done that. That was bad. Okay, yeah. Your turn. So I am actually gonna 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 hmm what I wanna do. I want to Oh but to... I wanna I wanna also do the action basically. No. You I don't wanna, wanna do that. Pay the four and, and do that. Not happy. Okay. And I have max capacity of cards. And you have only one left, so we both have only one left. Mm -hmm. I think that is interesting though. Interesting. Hmm. So, hmm. is it something I can do like, huh, sorry, uh, I'm gonna try to win now. Uh, oh, so you have a game plan? No, no, I'm just trying to win. That's my plan. <laughs> Getting, getting the most points. Which is six. So I am actually going to oh, everybody play is a to card. See I'm playing a card. Okay. This is probably stupid. Play it. Yeah, so I'm choosing one of my neighborhoods that I control uh -huh. and then I take back my renown token. Yes. And then I gain five points. Qu five points. points. So which one do you want to take away? Huh, which one do I want to take away? I'm taking away this. No. 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 Nope. I'm taking away this. And you get five coins and then it's your turn. Uh, I, I'm going to spend it right away. So okay. I'm putting this one over here. This one moves one, and I'm spending seven uh -huh. to put one over there. So I basically moved it to a spot where Which it can't yeah. be taken. And do you have to, do you have all my cards yet? Uh, two. Two. So two, two more. more. Uh, I think you basically won now. No, I can do that. Is that helpful? I think I am just because it is. Kind of horrible not to. I think I'm just gonna do that. And yeah. get a coin. Just to basically do this. Yes, obviously. No, basically do that. This one, and, no. And so this I can choose which one, so I'm choosing this and it was I won because I was the only one there. Okay, so it's me. It's basically a race. Like you're trying to trying to really 
push the other player not to get that last one that they need. It really is, feels like a race game because you, you're trying to then take away someone, put up, and, and these ones are the only ones that save, so you obviously coins are very good in the game, uh, but um, it's, it's hard. So I wanna... What can you do is the question. What are you able to do? Not a lot. I have problems. You have problems. Okay, so I am going to put this one over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm doing that. So I get a coin, you get a coin. Yeah. Um, I can't do this. So that is horrible. Then I'm just basically setting myself up for the next turn if, if there is any. There's no way for me to get this in one turn. No, it isn't. So I am going to play my death card and card. try to grab something decent from the discard so pile. it's death? Do you want that? Nope, I want this one, okay, the hangman. Cool. As we move on away, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my turn? Yep. I am then going to go here and grab three coins. And, and I'm getting one. one. And then I'm going to play my justice card, which removes these without no. doing a standoff. That is horrible for me. Hmm. And then it's open. So I am going to... What do I want to do though? I don't know. I'm guessing an action? Yeah. That That's is like my, my big guess. So I want to... Actually, I want to... Hmm... Oh no, oh, okay, that is actually pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I want to... Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do it. I'm, interested I'm going, now. Yeah, I have the other herm hermit as okay. well. So I'm playing that to take this in. Okay. And then I'm getting five coins, yes. which I'm going to spend. Uh -huh. So no, 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 no. Sorry. Ah, I the thought I had rules. this in the bag, but I don't. The game was soon as I says sorry. <sighs> this isn't sorry, it's Court of Miracles. And you're like, ah! <laughs> I thought I was going to do it this time, but I can't because I need another coin. Because I have seven now with the fives yeah. that I got, but I need eight. So I'm going also to... also you need two, you know. Yeah, but if I could put there, this would have moved four spaces and I'll would have uh -huh. triggered this okay. so that was my evil plan yeah. but um i'm one coin short but i'm going to do it anyway so i'm putting that over there and i'm spending all my oh yeah because you needed the yeah yep so i'm putting it over here and it goes three one two three three and it's my turn yeah and i win how i'm just gonna do that and oh yeah play five and yeah, that I win. is great nice so boom you didn't see that no, or else but maybe it... you wouldn't have spent five minutes doing your action. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually yeah, but I I, I, won the last I one, thought I, I could do it though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you if you had one more coin, you would yeah, have won. That's I would have won. Pretty neat. Okay, so that it was a close is, call. Which is usually has been in this game, like yeah. because it's such a short game. We have played in twenty minutes. Yeah. Which is like yeah, we're gonna go to the review part. So that was the playthrough of Court of Miracles. Let's do review. First off, as usual, let's talk about this. This is a rule book. We need rule books to have rules because without the rule books, you just have to guess. That doesn't make any games good. This is a very nice rule book. This is a very short rule book. The first one is basically a story about what happens in the game. I read all, almost all of it. And then we have this setup. So basically, so far, no rules. And then we have two pages of rules. Then we have two more pages of rules, and we're done. This is just what things do. And that's pretty cool. Like, it's very, very simple. I, there were a couple of things that I had to, like, read again to see how it worked. But, but when you start playing this game, it's very, very simple. And the rulebook is pretty good. It's not the best rulebook I've ever read in my life. But it's a good enough rulebook that, that makes just the job. It makes it possible to play the game, which is important. I've actually read some of it. Uh, the setup and the and to get, like, the Jesuit game. Uh -huh. Very simple, very easy yes. with the, like... Um, um, titles for uh -huh. every segment of the game so i thought it was easy to navigate the rule book 
So let's talk about the artwork and components. I think this board looks really cool. Like the Millennium Falcon. I like that it's not square. Yes. I, I think this makes it like, this is different. Yeah. I really like it. And also it happens stuff on this table. It happens stuff. It, it, when you're playing with a lot of players, there's a lot of color. Mm -hmm. So I, I think actually I have had no problems with seeing what's what in this game. The the um, functionality mm -hmm. part, but mm -hmm. also it looks quite cool. I think the artwork is nice. I love it. I love the artwork on the cards. Yes. I love the. I, I like these these wooden components. I don't know if it's actual wood, but I, I like these. Yes. Very very nice components. The only thing, of course, is that as you saw, when you flip them over, it's gonna be a bit of a hassle to get that inside of there again. Uh, but other than that, I think I those mind. are really nice. It's a very cool way of doing it to be able to change out those to to have basically a hidden information in, in these. I really mm. enjoy that. I like I like the workers here. I like just basically everything. Mm. Um, I, I enjoy basically all of the artwork here. I in, um, yes. yes, nothing more to say. It has a good artwork. Playtime and player count. Playtime half an hour. Yeah, it says forty minutes. I we haven't we have played thirty five minutes. Uh, and that is accurate. We have played with four players, we have played with three players and two players. We haven't played four, five. That's probably going to take, probably shouldn't take more time because no. it is the same things that you're doing. Maybe it can be a bit more back and forth with, with, yes. with, uh, with, uh, with five. We have never seen this reach anywhere close to the end of the game. Like that, I don't, I cannot see that happen. Like that would be in a game where just there's so much back and forth. Like when yeah. people are way better than us of doing uh, shenanigans and getting people's renowned cubes back because but these I, are uh, blocked so you cannot not yeah. take these away so um so so that is the, the reason why why this hasn't happened um so i feel like the playtime is really perfect for this game i agree and it's, as you said with more players or with fewer players if you're really good at blocking each other then you could have a little longer playtime yep. but this really keeps it from going to overstaying its welcome so yes. I'm, I'm happy about that uh, I think it scales well. Mm -hmm. I think it's more exciting with more players to yeah, see yeah, if obviously. this really changes up. But a two-player game in 20 minutes, I'm really happy with this. Yeah, I would I would say that a two-player game was okay. Yeah. And a three-player game was good, and a four-player game was really good. Yeah. Like, I would say this is a game where obviously four players, and maybe even five, because it's such a short game, is the best yeah. because what is cool here, what is different, what is fun is the standouts, yes. is the moving things when somebody didn't think about it, is the playing a card that might do something else. It has a lot of take that, that's a lot of, of that, but it doesn't bother me at all because it's a half an hour game, it's a 40 minute game and it is the game. Like yeah. it isn't a big Euro game where I say, ha, I steal two wood from you. That's not this. This this whole game is that you are robbers. You are stealing stealers. That's nothing. You're not a stealer. You are you are beggars trying to to do the best you can, and you're trying to out with the others, out you with the others, and it works really well here. And I will say that you will miss that out. Like so, if you see this playthrough and you think like, oh, I like the mechanisms here, but it looks like there's not a lot going on, then you should enjoy this with more players yes. because. I, I I wouldn't really like to play this with two again. I don't really see the point of that because this is a game that I, 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 I'm going to spoil it. I want to keep this because it's so different. And to, to play it with four and five players and be able to play a game with four and five players like this in 45 minutes is just amazing. I agree. But I'm also saying that w with just two, yeah. playing this in 20 minutes, you get a lot of game for that time. I think yeah. I think this is was also interesting with yeah, you. Yeah, it's fun. But I agree, it's it shines with more players. Yes. I feel like it could probably have... Like, there, there's some games, and I think this is one of them for me, that probably should have said three to five players on the box. Yeah. Because you can play it with two, but... It doesn't, like for me, I understand what you say, but mm. for me, it doesn't give me what I want from this game. There's a lot of other games I would rather play with too. Like this doesn't give me what I would, like I this agree. game is, is, is trying to do something and it doesn't do that well with two, I think. Mm. But, but three and four players, really good, especially four and I want to play it with five. So that is that. So let's talk a bit about the gameplay. Like you have seen the playthrough. I, I think it's pretty straightforward. So um, 
what you like about the gameplay and maybe what you don't like about the gameplay. It really gives you a race feeling. Uh -huh. uh, you feel like you want to squeeze in at a, a, a good position at yes. the last moment. You feel like you really want to trigger this mm. standoff now, but not this one because mm -hmm. you have a horrible something there. Yeah. Um, I think that all of these actions um, are good, yeah. depending on what you want to do. And also you might, as you did, you just defended this once one round, though you didn't do this, yep. just to keep your position yes. here. Yep. So that is also valid. I really like the cards. Yeah, they, and they make the game. Yeah, they're and really, they're really, really different. Good. And sometimes you get not the cards that you want, but you, it, it's it's very tactical. So you you have to be able to change your plan according to this if you want to get the and most out of it. What the other players are doing? Yes, absolutely. I I enjoy it absolutely. I think this is very different. Like, I, I don't think we have any games that feel like this. And that is maybe like the biggest thing it has going for it. Because mm. there isn't anything like, I really enjoy this. This is basically like the, yes. the the hidden information I'm trying to bid, basically. It is basically a bidding thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, where you bid and trying to take the, have the highest. And also you can get some great abilities if you spend time getting new. I only was the only one who did that now. Um, mm. And I feel like the... It has a lot of things going for it in such a short game. Yes. It has a lot of different things that I don't feel... It doesn't feel like a worker placement game. It feels more like a race game and uh, with worker placement element, with that bidding. And I, I like this a lot more than I thought because when we heard about this in Spiel last year, they said like there's a lot of interaction, I'll take that. And I was like, oh, that might not be for us. Uh, but I'm so happy that we go to play this. I agree. Like, it, it isn't gonna be... It was a really delightful surprise for me, yeah. playing this game. Uh, and, and because it's so short, it's easier to be able to get back out from the shelf and actually play it. Yeah. And it does something different. And uh, uh, for me, like there might be, you will see this like, oh, there's many games doing that. But for me, where uh, I don't play a lot of these kind of take that games and it feels like a race game. It has the cool abilities of the cards. It feels like there's a lot of, it has that kind of thing where you feel like, oh, I'm way behind. And yeah. then you do like one move and you boom, boom, boom. And yeah. it's happens something cool and you can take that over. And if somebody's going to win, you can basically work together with the other players to kind of take that away from them. And, and it, it just it's just very, very cool and feels different. And I enjoy it. I agree. So anything you want to add or should we do final thoughts? Well, let's go final thoughts. So you, you want to begin. Oh, I can begin. So... I really like this. As I said, I would never pick this up to play as a two-player game because it just doesn't give me a lot with two players. I think three players was fine. Four players were really good. You can play a four-player game, 35 minutes, just have fun, and it just gives me something different. I am going to give it a 7.5 nice. for that because it is a very good game. It surprised me. It's different, and it's definitely going to keep you staining in collection if I can decide because I like this, and I, I think it's... Giving me something in 40 minutes, which I don't have in a lot of games. So it's 7.5 from me. This game surprised me. Mm -hmm. As I said, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do. Mm -hmm. I also think this would come out on our table when we are four or yeah. five players. I think this is absolutely a game which gives you a lot of value for time yes. uh, that you put into it. Uh, such a short playtime with five players mm -hmm. and just chaotic fun with like a little backstabbing and fun is just super mm -hmm. so i'm going to give it a seven i'm super happy about this game as well okay so that is the end of the playthrough and review thank yes. you so much for watching i'm johannes i'm Senua. and you've been watching board gaming ramblings and bye bye